Hey, what's going on guys? This is Ali. Um, this tutorial will be on how to import from Excel to SageLine 50, but this will be an improvement on my previous tutorial, which I did about eight years ago. Um, a lot of you might have already seen my previous tutorial. Um, this basically helps take this whole thing to a next level by making a lot of things more searchable and connecting with the SageLine 50 software that you have. Now, the improvements that I'm talking about, uh, this is an example of the data that we can import and um, I'll just take you through what kind of things I'm talking about. You no longer have to remember the account codes or the nominal codes or the customer account numbers and all that kind of stuff. You, everything is automatically related, automatically integrated into this spreadsheet and it's also searchable as well, this spreadsheet. So uh, what I mean by that is say, uh, you don't have to remember SI, SP, all that kind of stuff as well. You just have to say, this is a sales invoice. And as soon as you say that, this column B becomes a customer column. So it gives you the list of all of your customers. Not only that, you can also search within that list. So if I then type design or DES, right? It will give me all the customers that have the letters DES in their name or even in their account code as well. So this becomes a very dynamic searchable um, column or a cell and therefore making the spreadsheet, spreadsheet very much dynamic. Um, again, I can just select any customer here, and then if that transaction should have a bank account associated with it, then you can select it here, but if not, then it will automatically not give you that option to select the bank account. Put the date in, and then you can put uh, any kind of description and the reference as well, and the amount, uh, and the tax code, and again, the nominal account as well, you do not have to remember the nominal codes. All you need to do is search for the keyword and it will give you the related nominal account and then you can just select any of the, uh, the nominal accounts from the list. And that's it guys, that's, that's all done. And then once you're ready to import, once you've entered all your data, oh, by the way, before I do that, just want to take you through just another transaction type which is direct bank payment as soon as I select that this field will become a null because it would not give me any option to select any customers because by the way this is a direct bank payment now uh, this become does this field does become active and you can select the actual bank account that you made that payment from to current bank account I'm selecting and um, the description would be say bank interest charge uh, January 2020 interest charge and uh, maybe the interest was five pounds and the tax code for that transaction was, was T9 and if I select bank charges and click on the drop down it will give me the list of accounts that have that that searchable keyword in them all right now we're ready to import there's no more remembering of things to do. Once I'm ready to import, I just click on ready and save. What that's gonna do is it's gonna save a CSV in the same folder that I have this Excel sheet saved in. And it will also tell you that now I've created this CSV under this folder, okay? So click okay, go to your Sage Line 50, go to file, import, next, order trial transactions, next, and right now I'm using the comma separated ones, so just CSV version and we go browse, select the file, next, and what if you have done everything correctly, uh, which hopefully you would have, the fields would be automatically mapped. And then you click next and import and everything will be imported automatically. Uh, now, before I finish this video, I just want to let you guys know that we do have this an instruction tab in there. We do have to export customers and suppliers from Sage first and import them into this sheet, which is extremely easy. Um, all, all you need to do is just go into your customers and click on this Excel 
sent to Excel and it will create an Excel sheet for you. You just need to go into the customers tab and paste the account numbers and the names there. And the same thing with the suppliers, the same thing with the tax code. Ta yes, the tax codes as well as the nominal accounts. Um, I'll give you an example. I just go into SageLine 50 under customers, right? Now, I'm using an older version of SageLine 50, so excuse that. It, it doesn't automatically work if I click on this Send to Excel button, but for you, if you're using the latest version, then it should work. But if not, then I can just click on Reports and go to Customer Details and Customer List, right? All I need to do is just click on Excel here, and then it does actually export it to um, the Excel sheet. And all I need to then do is just select all this, and then unmerge it, and then copy this line into the accounts area, and the name into the name area. And it's all ready to go. And it's the same principle with all of these items, with suppliers, with the tax codes, with the nominal accounts. And then the spreadsheet is ready to go. If you don't do that, then, guys, your spreadsheet would not have the searchable feature. Uh, this is how you link the spreadsheet with the Excel, with, with the Sage in the first place, all right? Um, by the way, I am putting this spreadsheet up for sale. Um, it's going to be about £10 or less. Uh, I've spent about... 12 maybe more than 12 hours just constructing and automating this spreadsheet so if you want you can go back to my previous tutorial and create the spreadsheet yourself which is going to take you a lot of time but if you want a more automated version then i think it's a good value for money um the, the full price will be about 10 pounds but initially i'll just put it for a discount uh but once that period is over then the the price will be 10 pounds um, guys, I hope you like this video and if there's any comments uh, or requests, then feel free to get back to me. Uh, I do appreciate your support. If you can like and subscribe to my channel and also comment uh, and let me know if, if you like this video or not. Um, really appreciate the support and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.